Hi everyone, it's Mr. Barden here. This is another of a short video uh, breaking down each of the projects I'm going to be having my students working on during the month of January. So let's just hop right into it because I've been doing a lot of these and they're starting to kind of be annoying for me. So uh, just again, breaking down the concept, all the students can, you know, pick and choose from this big list of projects that I'm currently recording, going over how to do and all the important information they need to know. Um, this is for project number three, which is to create an entirely sample-based piece of uh, music art. So <clears throat> just to put a little bit of context into what this is, um, this idea uh, began, you know, kind of in the early 20th century. Uh, I'm not going to break down all of the history and there's way more we can get into and more subtle things. This is a gross overview I've put into the Google Classroom right here and that I'm going to go over in the video. But long story short, um, as people began to get the ability to record and play back audio, uh, they also got the ability to you know record and then change and then playback audio. Uh, this you know became more and more refined as time and technology you know progressed. Uh, but you know generally speaking, there's a wide variety to um, uh, the different kinds of uh, approaches that we can take in some of the um, you know aspects of this sound. So. Uh, in France in particular, if you're looking into this more on your own, this is less of the, the German side and more the French side. Um, these sounds, you know, they were pre-recorded live sounds. So they, people would record sounds and then build things out of that. Uh, the sounds would then be edited and changed up you know, to make them into something new and unique. A lot of times they were changed to the point to where you wouldn't really know what it started as. So, you know, you can think of the songs where, you know, it's this song, but it's played at, you know, a one two hundredth of the speed with a bunch of reverb and delay. You know, you may not really recognize the original song, but it, it's its own unique Thing now. Um, so, you know, adjust, reversing playback, adjusting speed, you know, trimming samples, uh, building textures out of it, playing around with extreme panning, adding, uh, you know, other things, live instruments. Those are very common things that were done during this time period in this art movement. Um, for this project, for my students, uh, I'm having them find their own. Um, sounds to use for this. If they really wanted to record their own, they could, but they they should talk. You should you should talk to me first uh, before you just start recording your own bits, just so we're on the same page. I'm intending this assignment to uh, you know be finding sounds and utilizing that. So I like to have my students find their sounds at freesound.org. I'm not going to break all this down or do a whole endorsement or anything. Um, check it out. There's a bunch of free sounds you can use on there. Um, so what I need the students to do uh, right here is, um, well, again, you're going to find exactly Five sounds, five sounds, no more, no less, five sounds. And you're going to build a 30 to 90 second, um, you know, sound art composition. So uh, you'll be loading them all into studio one. Now, the first thing you need to do is when you find your sounds, go ahead and attach them to this assignment. Um, so that way you have the raw sound files. You're gonna be turning in the raw files the finished file, uh, and then a short Google document. So that's a total of seven things, seven things. So again, the five raw sound files, the finished sound file, and then the Google document I'm going to talk about in a little bit. So once you've got all of that, uh, you can load your files into Studio One for your 30 to, second, 30 to 90 second composition and begin editing the sounds. You can repeat the sounds as much as you want. Um, again, stair stepping is bad. And again, that don't just have sound followed by a sound, followed by a sound, followed by a sound. No, you know, layer the sounds. 
process them, change them. You're going to be thinking of building textures. So again, you're going to be want to ex you're going to want to. I can't even talk anymore. Uh, experiment with different processing and effects. Maybe we reverse this one. Maybe we play with the pitch, add some distortion, some reverb. You know, play around with stuff, see what you like, and again, you'll be kind of building this uh, environment, this uh, soundscape, if you will. This uh, you know. Well, like I said, this sound art piece, for lack of a, a better word that I can think of right this second. Um, and, you know, putting all of this into a cohesive entity and turning that in. Um, one thing I want to point out is that every sample you download should have at least two different transformations to it. So maybe you have um, a, a sound of a train. Uh, okay, so maybe we have you know the sound of of some tr of some old train wheels. Uh, well, maybe one of them you slow down a lot. Maybe one of them you flip it back, you know, flip it and play it in reverse. Um, those are the you know two right there. You have to do that for each of your sounds. So you should have a wide palette of at least uh, fifteen things to work with. That being the raw sound and then the two. Uh, transformed sounds. So you have plenty of stuff to work with and build these layers. So I'm expecting every, you know, to be plenty of layering and cool sounds to work with. Um, from there, you know, you can set all the levels and automations as you need uh, in order to make what you want. Um, you know, asking questions, let me know if you have on that individually. We'll go from there. Um, so we have all of that. Um, in addition to the raw files and the completed audio wave file, I'm also wanting everyone to turn in a one page Google document with the following info. Um, I want you to describe the raw sounds that you used as well as just briefly characterizing the transformation that you had. So this can be as simple as a bullet point, you know, sound one was a train sound. I transformed it by uh, adding reverb and again by reversing it. Uh, again, it's pretty pretty straightforward. Don't you don't have to you know write a whole paragraph right here. Um, the other one is just the overall aesthetic. What is the vibe you were going for? Again, I keep pulling up trains because that's going to be something I talk about in a second. So maybe you wanted to replicate a train station with all of these sounds. Um, you know, something like that. And, you know, again, your original goal for that, uh, again, whether or not it actually worked out, uh, you know, that's a that's a whole other thing. But what was your original goal when you started? Like, I wanted to do blank. We may not have gotten to blank, but this is what I wanted to start with. Um, again, you don't necessarily have to um, have, you know, followed every little thing exactly. What's more important is that you made something that sounds good or interesting, I should say. Something that you, you made something you liked. That's what I care more about. I would like to know mostly from a curiosity standpoint whether or not you ran into any unexpected difficulties or challenges that maybe changed the direction of how your workflow went. Um, but again, the thing I care about is did you make something interesting, something that you like? That's what I care more about. So, you know, those are the kinds of things I'm asking for in this Google document. And there's a very similar thing attached to pretty much all of these if you're watching this video for all of them. Um, so the, the little Google document isn't going away. So the last part of this is um, some stuff that I've attached right here um, that you know will be pretty, pretty helpful for you. So um, basically the short version of it is this was a whole movement in the um, early to mid, pretty much well, pretty much from the majority of the 20th century. Again, as people were, you know, creating recording equipment, experimenting with what it can do, what they can do, and it's led directly into a lot of what is being done now. Um, I'm, again, not going to break it all down. I have whole books on the subject. If anyone wants to know, uh, you know, reach out to me. I'll give you some more recommendations. But um, I just want you to check out some stuff that was done, you know, historically in this matter. I've got this playlist. I didn't make the playlist, but I've, I found it online. Um, but this playlist of a lot of this kind of stuff, the uh, um, 
it's called musique concrète. It's it's a French term. It essentially, means that you know we're making music uh, art, you know, art music out of uh, what we call the concrete concrète things, meaning it's a sound that has been recorded and made. It's not a live performance where things can flux and change. You know, you play it. That's the the idea behind the name. But I'm I'm rambling at this point. What I've included. <sighs> My parents have a cuckoo clock that just went off. Uh, what I've included here is um, a list of a handful of things that are kind of showing off some of these uh, ideas. So uh, this first one here is, well, the guy who essentially started all of this movement made a piece of music that is essentially uh, replicating the idea, the you know, a train station, uh, utilizing different uh, train sounds from different areas so uh, we're playing around with that i've got you know there's some that's you know playing with uh, various kinds of wet sounds uh you know a bunch of you know it's a lot more generic maybe we play with voice recordings and uh play around with having them line up in different ways uh, manipulating that should have an e there but different tone generators and things like that um so again it's just some ones that are in this playlist here that i would recommend checking out if you're going to do this project. Uh, it shouldn't take you too long to get an idea of what's going on with these, but a handful of ones to check out from this list. And then again, a link to the free sound where you can log in and record a bunch of stuff. So that's this one in a nutshell. Again, you'll be creating something that you think is interesting. Um, people making noises. Something that you think is interesting um, based off of sounds that have just been recorded in other places by other people. Again, it's completely sample based. You will not record anything new for this project. Um, if you really, really want to, you, you can, you know, main, you know, bring me a coffee in the morning or something and, you know, ask really nicely, but, um, you know, we'll figure out the goal is that you're not making new stuff. You're making something new out of something old. So that's where I'm going to wrap this one up. And I will see you all the next time that I see you.